Hey, YouTube. We have solar power. Yes, I got the solar panels propped up. I've got them hooked up here. Got some uh, about a 40 foot of uh, 10 amp, 10 gauge, 10 gauge wire. And we have our solar controller and monitor. So I've got a Echo Power MPPT solar controller. So we've got the voltage going in. Got a little monitor here with a warning. It monitors overcharge and heat, things like that. And they are charging up two, two six volt deep sick decycle batteries wired in series to put out 12 volts and uh, got my little marine um, fuse box here and right at the moment I've got some nice LED lights across the top up here and um, we've got other LED lights lit, uh, wired in I um, put in two accessory panels on each side here so we have a 12 volt plug-in here we have an on off and we have a uh, pair of USB port charging ports and it's got a little voltmeter included in it you can read the little supposed to be able to read the little voltage uh, values through the cover but it's not quite as transparent as I think anyway it's it's pretty hard to read but I really don't need it I just wanted to show you that I have it so uh, it's pretty cool everything's working so far we've got a uh, igloo cooler that uh, we've worked out and it plugs in here and we take it on our trips and it runs straight off the batteries straight off the solar power so we've got more uh, ideas to go but right now we have our option of solar power or shore power whenever we go camping and uh, out on our adventures so there's more to come we're not going to get to go to Galveston this weekend like we thought maybe next weekend we want to go out boondocking on the beach to try out the solar power and work out the bugs before our summer trip so uh, look forward to it and this is really a, a cool thing. I set up the, uh, the panels to be portable because the top of my, uh, let me show you the top of my rig. You can see the top of my camper shell here is slanted. And so if I were to put my panels on top of the camper shell flat, they would actually be tilted forward, which would put downward pressure on them from the air and then that's going to put pressure on the fiberglass like a wing and there's a possibility of stress cracks it's also going to uh, expose it to rocks and, and damage from that direction i would prefer them flat across the top but if i do that then they're going to be up high in the front and that's going to be like a wing where it's going to have lift and I don't like that either. So I like this more space inside of the camper shell, but it doesn't make it very conducive for mounting solar panels on the top of it. So that's, that's the problem that I'm having to solve right now. All right, but um, right now I've got them on portable and uh, they probably weigh about 35, 40 pounds together and they fold up together and we just slide them in the back of the truck and uh, pull them out whenever we need them. The, down, the upside is they're protected. The downside is that they don't charge while you're driving down the road. So there we go. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If I can help you out, please message me. If you like what you see, please subscribe and share the video. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.